full series now on STV Player. Good evening, Emmerdale is here at 7.30 tonight, but now it's time for the STV News at 6. Tonight, switching sides from nationalist to unionist. East Kilbride's MP Lisa Cameron joins the Conservatives, saying the SNP is toxic. I don't think anyone would find it acceptable if what the SNP have put Lisa through. I think most people don't like ego-driven politics, and this looks to me, alas, like ego-driven politics. It comes ahead of the SNP conference getting underway this weekend. Also making the headlines, attacks on shop workers. Scottish retailers warned that experiencing record levels of violence and theft in their stores. The crafty pensioners who are recreating the tenement life of their youth. And our latest bill as we build up to tonight's big Spain Scotland match. Germany! Germany! I'm Kellyanne Woodland in Edinburgh. And I'm John Mackay in Glasgow. This is the STV News at 6. Good evening. The First Minister says Lisa Cameron should resign as an MP and fight a by-election after she quit the SNP for the Conservatives. The East Kilbride, Straven and Les Mahago MP says she had faced a toxic and bullying culture in the SNP. The party said she was about to be deselected for the next election anyway. The Prime Minister welcomed her to the Conservatives, describing her as a brave and committed constituency MP. Here's our political editor, Colin Mackay. I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and... Lisa Cameron was the first ever SNP MP in East Kilbride. Lisa Cameron is therefore elected to serve. And today she's the first ever Conservative MP for East Kilbride. She says she's quit the SNP because of a toxic culture in the Westminster group. She felt ostracised after speaking up against fellow MP Patrick Grady's inappropriate behaviour towards a young member of staff. Dr Lisa Cameron. Today she's been welcomed with open arms by the Conservatives. I don't think anyone would find it acceptable if what the SNP have put Lisa through. She has been a brave and principled MP who has stood up for uh, people in very difficult circumstances and has been treated appallingly uh, by the Scottish National Party. And again, it just goes back to how divided the SNP are, the fact that they are not focused on people's priorities and Lisa absolutely will be on the Conservative benches. Oh, it's this Thursday, the 12th of December, for Dr Lisa Cameron for the SNP. The SNP say she jumped before she was pushed, losing out in a re-selection contest for the next general election today. Lisa Cameron had said that she would consider her position as she wasn't to be re-selected uh, by the SNP. I think she should now consider her position. As I say, people in East Kilbride and Straven and Les Mahago did not elect a Tory MP and they shouldn't be forced to have one for the next 12 months. She should stand down, there should be a bad election and the SNP will contest it vigorously uh, in order to improve people's lives which the Tories won't do, uh, and that's another reason why lo her decision is bizarre. The contrast couldn't be greater. On Monday in Parliament, you'll see Michael Shanks, the new Scottish Labour MP, taking the oath of office to represent his constituents, and then you'll see Lisa Cameron crossing the floor from the SNP uh, to the Tories. I think the SNP will be shocked. It's certainly not a surprise, given how unhappy Lisa Cameron is, that she's leaving the SNP, but to join the Tories is quite extraordinary. Michael Shanks, Scottish Labour Party, 17,840. <laughs> Last week saw a big swing from SNP to Labour by voters in Rutherglen. Now, just next door, the MP has swung from the SNP to the Tories. She has that. That's a bit of a turnaround, is it, no? Lisa Cameron going obviously to the Tories. She'll be out of here yeah. like that. She'll be gone. I can understand how it being toxic. I will not be voting the next election period. I wouldn't vote any of them in. I wouldn't want her representing me, but I didn't before, so this is no great surprise. How is it possible for an SNP MP to become a Tory? That's, I just can't believe it. Lisa Cameron quitting the SNP is not much of a surprise, but defecting to the Tories, that really has been a surprise. So, Colin, what do you make of it all? 
Well, it's been a weird year in Scottish politics. Everything seems to have been turning on its head. But today, this just seemed a bit surreal. Now, Lisa Cameron's unhappiness within the SNP has long been known about. What's also been known about is the local SNP's unhappiness with her as their candidate for the next election. Now, she warned that she could quit and cause a by-election if they deselected her. I never thought that was particularly likely because who gives up an £85,000 a year job without something else to go to? But if she hadn't resigned from the SNP first thing this morning, by now she would have been deselected by her local party members as the candidate for next year's general election. What is so unspect uh, unexpected about this is, is the move from the SNP to the Conservatives, from one side of the con constitutional debate to the other. She's gone from winning three elections supporting independence to now backing a party of the union. So this is a boost for Douglas Ross. He's clearly been working on this defection for a number of weeks. But Hamza Youssef wouldn't be happy about this. But losing one MP to the Tories is a lot less of a headache than losing thousands of voters next door to the Labour Party, which is what happened last week. And that's what's going to set up a very interesting SNP conference in Aberdeen next week. Indeed. All right, Colin, thank you very much for that. The First Minister's wife has told STV News how...